I have got very much doubts from students. They tell me that they haven't do any coding in the whole life. Now let me tell you that if you even haven't now after these two subjects, we need to prepare third subject and that is microelectronics devices. So for the preparation of micro microelectronics devices, you can refer the lectures of Do in the VLSI industry. Most of the people work on UVM that is universal verification methodology. Now after all these things, there is one very much important thing in VLSI industry and that is EDA tool. Hey everyone welcome back to the channel i am jashan hope you all are doing great so today as i have promised and announced in my community post on youtube and linkedin i am going to tell you about the courses which you can refer and prepare at home so that you can uh, just apply for any vlsi company in the semiconductor industry and these are the courses for which you do not have to take any admission into any coaching institute or any institution you just need to prepare these courses at your own home i have got various emails in Insta messages and LinkedIn messages where students, especially VLSI aspirants, seemed to be confused about what to prepare for uh, grabbing a good job in VLSI industry. Some of them have their diploma in VLSI and some of them are having a double E branch engineering from uh, various institutes and some have done their electronics engineering. But everyone has a common doubt like what to prepare for VLSI industry. So today in this video, I'm going to clear your that doubt fully. Now whenever you would ask anyone about what to prepare for VLSI and what what courses you can refer for VLSI preparation then everyone will be saying like you need to prepare for the basics and you can easily grab an interview but what are those basic courses what are those online courses th that no nobody tell so all those basic things all those basic courses I will be telling you in this video so you have to see this video till the end as this video is going to be very much helpful for the VLSI aspirants because you do not have to join any institute for the preparation and everything is just available online but one thing which definitely needs and that is your time so you have to give your time to the courses and just need to prepare for the interviews so the students who have their background in electrical engineering electronics in, and communication and maybe instrumentation and some of them may be having a diploma in engineering so you guys must be knowing that during your courses analog and digital is revolving around the bzts diodes op amps and flip flops counter all of these things but let me tell you that the vlsi revolves around mosfet so every device every little uh, device is made up of mosfet that's why we are uh, dealing with the vlsi sector but it does not mean that you don't need to have the knowledge about the these diodes or bzts and all but uh, it is essential to have the knowledge about these basic things so if you have completed your btec in double e ece or instrumentation or you have diploma then i assume that you must be having a good knowledge a good uh, grab on the topics like rc circuits network theory op amps bjt's diodes and uh, resistors counters flip flops and all of these uh, gates universal gates like uh, and gate nor gate but if you think you have forgotten these concepts then i would suggest you to just uh, have a brush up on these concepts and you can just uh, revise all your previous concepts because uh, these are going to be very much helpful for the preparation of vlsi then after revising your all these concepts basic concepts you can just resume to prepare for the vlsi courses now moving forward without wasting any time let me tell you what you actually need to prepare for the VLSI preparation so there are just five things you need to prepare and those are analog IC design digital IC design microelectronics devices and then coding that is very low and I would suggest one more thing that is uh, EDA tool I have added one EDA tool because it is going to help you in making your projects you can just add some projects in your resume so that's why I just recommend to have a uh, grab on one EDA tool now let's discuss about very first subject that is analog IC design so to prepare this uh, subject you need to watch the lecture series of Dr. Behzad Rizavi he has very much prominent and profound series available on YouTube Dr. Behzad Rizavi himself is a lecturer and director at University of California Los Angeles and he has also completed his M tech from stanford university that's why i have just recommended to see his courses he has uploaded two series on youtube by the name of electronics series 1 and electronics series 2 so from electronics series 1 you need to watch lectures from lecture number 29 to lecture number 45 and from electronics series 2 you need to watch lectures from lecture number 1 to lecture number 18 so all of these lectures you need to watch he will teach you from the scratch and 
and you would enjoy a whole series and here your btech knowledge is going to be helpful for your basics let me suggest that you can just make out your own notes while watching the uh, lecture series because it will be helpful while you will be uh, looking over the notes later on because every time you're not supposed to watch out the lecture series again and again so you just need to prepare the notes very very uh, good second thing you can just speed up the playback speed of the uh, lecture because uh, he teaches very slowly so you to save your time you can just increase the speed of the lecture now the second subject which you need to prepare for the VLSI is digital IC design. So for this subject, I have multiple sources you can refer. Very first source for digital IC design is Dr. Janki Raman lectures available on Naptal and YouTube. Dr. Janki Raman is a professor in IIT Madras and he has done his master's and PhD from IIC Bangalore. So he has really good series for digital IC design and he has taught every concept in very easy manner. Now other source for digital IC design is very very much recommended and that is digital IC design book by JM Rabe. So this book is very much a good book to uh, refer for digital IC design and he has some problems at the end of each chapter. You need to solve every that, uh, that every problem. So I would definitely recommend you to see this book uh, digital IC design by JM Rabe. If you are not able to purchase this book then you can also download this book. It is available for free online. Now another source for preparation of digital IC design is the lectures of Dr. Sudeep Das Gupta. These lectures are available on Naptal and YouTube as well. So Dr. Sudeep Das Gupta is a professor at ID Rudki and while teaching you this course he will be just copying the uh, GM Rabe book itself. He has also done some minor mistakes while teaching you the uh, series, uh, while teaching you the digital IC design subject. So every time you feel any doubt while uh, seeing his lecture you can just refer the book GM Rabe. But let me again tell you that GM Rabe a book is must for the preparation so you can just uh, refer that book. Now let me add another source for the preparation of digital IC design. This source is not that much recommended but if you feel like you need a more more knowledge about digital IC design then there is a lecture series by GM Rabe himself and he has uploaded his lectures on YouTube by the name of E141 digital IC design lectures so if you if you think that you want a, a series from GM Rabe himself then you can just refer his lectures as well but it's better to see his book and solve every uh, question uh, given on the ending of every chapter that will be uh, gaining you more in the uh, that will enhancing more knowledge about the digital IC design and uh, there is one more book uh, digital IC design by Morris Mano then uh, you can just refer this book after you have completed all these uh, already I have said sources then you can just for advanced knowledge you can just refer this book as well but uh, firstly you need to just uh, complete the lectures of Dr. Janki Raman and parallelly you need to refer the book uh, JM Rabe and solving the problems so that would be you know for uh, digital IC design. Here one thing I would like to add that uh, whenever you have started a preparation you can just watch out the series of analog IC design and digital IC design parallelly because uh, this is this would be for better time management and you can also have a better uh, understanding of MOSFET and all. So it is recommended if you see digital IC design and analog IC design parallelly. Now after these two subjects we need to prepare third subject and that is microelectronics devices. So for the preparation of micro microelectronics devices you can refer the lecture of Dr. Digbijoy and Nath. These lectures are available on YouTube. Dr. Digbijoy is a professor in ISC Bangalore. He will teach you from the basic to the advanced level of microelectronics devices. So I think you would be loving to see him uh, teaching the this subject and uh, I would uh, definitely recommend this subject from Dr. Digbijoy. So you have to watch lecture number 1 to lecture number 43 from the series. So that will be till heterojunction transistors. Now after covering these three subjects we need to cover another thing and that is coding. So coding is very much essential for VLSI. As you have done your bachelors in EE or EC you must have a basic knowledge about C language. So firstly I would recommend you to have a basic knowledge about C language. For learning C language you can refer any course on uh, YouTube. And if we talk about the coding language in VLSI that is named as Verilog. Now here let me clarify that Verilog is not at all difficult to be learned because it is very much easy. Its logics are just like C. I have got very much doubts from students. They tell me that they haven't do any coding in the whole life. Now let me tell you that if you even haven't experienced any coding before this even then you can just uh, learn this language. It's very much easy to learn but you just have to dedicate some time and your efficiency. That's, uh, that's, the, that's enough to learn this language. 
Now to learn Verilog, you can refer the lecture series on YouTube by Dr. Indranil Sen Gupta. During initial lectures, he will also tell you to download a software on your laptop to practice the codes. So you just need to follow the instructions and then practice the code, whichever he tell. So that's how you can prepare for the Verilog language. And there is one more tool by the Zilinx which you can download to practice the codes on uh, this software. So you can also download Zilinx software on your laptop. Now let me tell you that in the VLSI industry, most of the people work on UVM that is Universal Verification Methodology. But UVM is also another sort of language. You just not need to learn this language. Although it's a good thing if you learn this uh, while your preparation, but it is not necessary to prepare UVM. But all you need to do is to make your logics good so that you can learn any language you need to think analytically so that you can you can have a good grasp on any language so this is all you need to just uh, learn so for this i would recommend you to go for a uh, basic c language and basic c++ so with with these two languages on while you can learn this from youtube you can just grow your uh, analytic analytic thinking so for the preparation of verilog you just start the lectures by dr indranil sen gupta and uh, practice the codes now after all these things there is one very much important thing in VLSI industry and that is EDA tool and there is a tool by the name of Cadence by the company Cadence in the industry of VLSI most of the universities and prominent institutions have license of this tool so that they can give access of this tool to their students so Cadence is a US based company and they have their tool in the VLSI market and uh, this, this tool is being used by various analog designers and digital designers as well so during your preparation you can have some projects on Cadence tool but access to Cadence tool need license and it is worth crores so if you have your friends studying in higher institutions or good institutions universities you can just ask them for this help because they can give access to remote access to you but if you think you can't do that and you don't have any friends in the universities or all then you can just refer a youtube series and uh, it is named by Hafiz, Hafiz Katie so you can just uh, have a uh, look on the lectures of uh, Hafiz Katie on YouTube and he will be telling you about some projects on Cadence software, so Cadence tool. So you can just watch out uh, his lectures and you can just have a basic thing about the Cadence tool. With this at least you will be completing your basics of Cadence tool and you will be having uh, some good knowledge about the EDA tool in the industry. So with this you have just completed five things to prepare for the VLSI and this whole preparation will not take your a lot of time all these things you can just uh, prepare in six months so you can just start your preparation by today itself now after all these things you need to prepare your resume really good and you have to prepare your linkedin profile as well you have to be active on linkedin and search for the jobs you need to ping to the hrs of vls industry so by this way you can have some interview calls so i have told you everything about the preparation of vlsi so if you still have any doubts you can just ping me upon uh, instagram linkedin and also you can email me on my email id i will be giving email id in my description box so thank you so much for watching out this video thank you